you're why are you spilling all the beans on yourself okay so so um so what we're gonna do like last time we're going to identify what we are given or what units are involved what the goal of what we're trying to solve for is uh determine what they gave us in the problem because i'm reading it i read out loud when i'm I'm reading it out. <laughs> We're going to use conversion factors and their units to convert what is given to what we want. So that's what we're going to do. Um, before we do that, do you guys remember what the mole ratio is? Someone say it in the chat, mole ratio. If anyone remembers what the, where do we get the, the numbers for the mole ratio? So there's the difference. Wait, let me read it. My pen works. There's a, there's a, okay, there's a difference between mole ratio and uh, molar mass. And you guys did it last week, but what is mole ratio mass? So where do you get the mole ratio? And the mole ratio look like a number and then the, that, and then another number. But where do we get the numbers from? If anyone remembers. And then let me rewrite molar mass. Uh, anyone remember where we get the numbers for the mole ratio? Oh, man. One of those days when no one's going to say anything. Okay, so the mole ratio, we get it from the coefficients. Does anyone know what coefficients are? Or how do they look like or where they are? Coefficients. What are coefficients? Let me look it up. Because you guys aren't saying it. Coefficients. Um, so coefficients, images, uh, in chemistry, let's talk about. So our coefficients are going to be the big numbers, the rare ones. And the subscripts are the little numbers, but the ones that we're going to be using are the big numbers. So the ones in the red. So when we're going to write our mole ratios, we're going to use the numbers that are in the red or the numbers that are in front of the uh, formula or the element. So that's what we're going to need to be doing. But does anyone know, this question doesn't have anything to do with the mole ratio or anything. Does anyone know what molar mass is, like the unit for molar mass? Because we have two different things that we have to use in the formula, but what is the unit for molar mass? This one doesn't want to work. Molar mass. Because molar mass has a certain unit. Type A, B, C, or D. It molar mass is the total mass. That is true. So if I wanted to figure out the molar mass of carbon, I will have to go to the periodic table and then um the, the mass of carbon would be um, molar mass of carbon will be the just the weight of carbon. So that's the total, that is molar mass. But what is the unit for molar mass? If anyone knows. So molar mass is the total weight. But what is the unit? for molar mass. So is it A, B, C, or D? What do you guys think? Molar mass. What is the unit for molar mass? Is it mole divided by grams? Grams divided by mole? Grams? Or molar mass? Which one do you guys think? A, B, C, or D? It is, it is B. So the answer is B. So when you guys are finding the mass of something on the periodic table, it's always going to be grams divided by one mole or gr 
grams divided by mole. And then we'll go y into why that's important. But that was that's that was it all. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, we're gonna skip this. We're gonna skip more of this. Skip this. Because that's not what I wanted. Okay, so we're gonna go over these questions. And first, I want you guys to tell me what they gave us in the question. So it says determine how many moles. No, 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 not this one. Let's skip this one. I don't want to do this one either because mm, not really. Not a lot. Okay. So it says ratios are found within the chemical equation. So the ratios we're going to use what? If we're trying to find the ratios, what are we going to use? The mole ratios. I need you guys to remember this word, mole ratios. Mole ratios. Mm. What numbers do we use in mole ratios? I'm just looking at my cats. They're being a bit strange. My the other cat fell asleep. <laughs> what what numbers are we using for mole ratios? If anyone has, oh man, it's one of those days. Coefficients. So the coefficients, which are the numbers in the red. So last time you guys were trying to use these little numbers, but we're not talking about those. And if there is no number, it is one. So notice how these two don't have a number, it's gonna be one. So I'm just gonna, it's one of those weird bro. So coefficients give us more ratios and there is no number, it's gonna be one. So in this question, it says when N2O5 is heated, it decomposes. So it's saying when this is heated, it makes these two. Uh, how many moles of NO2 can be produced from 4.3 moles of N2O5? So what is being given in the question? And then what are we solving for? And someone give me what we're given and what we're solving for. And when I see the chat, it better not be uh, Bridget. <laughs> 4.3 moles. So they gave us 4.3 moles. And 205. I need someone else. I got Reynaldo in here. I got Linda. I got Cesar in here. We got Andrea, Eric, Jose Vega, Jose Garza. We got all these people in here. Moles. Yes. And then what are we solving for? So they gave us 4.3 of this mole. What are you doing? Okay. So they give us 4.3 moles. So what are we solving for? They gave us 4.3 of this. Oh man. We're solving for moles of NO. So we're solving for this. So how many of this are going to come out? So usually our reaction is like this, but we're starting with a different amount of moles. We're not starting with two, we're starting with 4.3. So they're saying if we have 4.3 moles of N2O5, uh, how many moles of NO2, which is nitrogen um, dioxide, will come out? So the type of problem that it is, is mole to mole. Um, oh, Ronaldo's not even in here. The type of problem is mole to mole. And when we have mole to mole problems, we're going to use four boxes. So I'm just gonna keep going. 
So we got 4.3. We want to solve for moles of NO2. And in the first box, we write what? Does anyone remember what we write in the first box? Can anyone tell me what we write in the first box? Does anyone remember what we put in the first box? Given. Yeah, 4.3. In the first box, we write 4.3. So this is, so they gave us these numbers already, but what is this? So they said 4.3, 4, 2. Four moles of NO2, two moles of N205. Where did they get the four and the two? Hmm. Where did they get these numbers from? Anyone? Who else we got in here? We got, uh, we got Leslie, we got Daisy, we got Jose Garza, Jose Vega, Kayla, Cassandra, Dayling, Gabriela, uh, Tanaya, Linda, Jakari, Chris, huh? Andrea, Chris, Amoka, not Chris. Yeah, but where did they get the four and the two? Where did they get those numbers from? It's four. Well, where did they get it from? This one trying to figure out. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Which are the coefficients? So he told me that we got it from NO2, which is the coefficients. And because they're getting for, they're getting it from the coefficients, this is going to be more ratio. So if you guys go to your homework, um, this question is exactly like number one. So this is your homework. And if I was going to write some notes, I would write. Uh, type of problem, mole to mole. And I do given plus mole ratio. Because this type of problem in question one is given plus the mole ratio. And the mole ratio, you get it from the coefficients. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to write that for number one, I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes to write this for number one. So you will know that one uh, question number one is a mole to mole problem. You write what you're given and then you get the mole ratio, which is from the coefficient. So you guys can answer number one. But I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to continue. Okay, so you guys kind of know how to put them in the boxes. So the four and the two, we got it from the coefficients, which are the numbers in the red. We don't talk about the little numbers, which are the subscripts. In the first box, we write what we're given. Uh, given. But we don't know how to solve it. Like we need to get figure out the number of moles of NO2. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply everything on top, which is 4.3 and 4. So everything on top, we multiply. And everything in the bottom, we divide. So it'll be 4.3 times 4. Mm. Does this end work? Four point three times four divided by divided by two. 
So that is how I will put it in the calculator. So if I wanted to get the answer, it will be 4.3 times 4 divided by 2. So I multiply everything on the top and divide everything in the bottom. And then if anyone wants to tell me the answer, put it in a calculator, put it in your phone. 4.3 times 4 divided by 2. Anyone put in a calculator? Yep, that is the correct answer. So if you did not get 8.6, you probably did it wrong. But this is the way you should do number one. So number one is not hard, not that hard. But um, this was a this is the same thing. It's a more to more question. More to more. They gave us 4.3 moles. But this time we're trying to figure out how many moles of O2. So it's the same question, but we changed the mole ratio. So we changed the numbers here. But it's still the same question. You would do the same thing, multiply the two numbers on top, divide the number in the bottom. This is the mole ratio, um, which we get it from the coefficients. And the coefficients are the numbers in the front, and they're going to be the ones in red. And what you guys are going to do is multiply 4.3 times 1 divided by 2. So if I was to put it in the calculator, 4.3 times 1 divided by 2 equals something. And then Ronaldo, other people in the chat, y'all need to know how to do this. Unless it's really cold and you can't do it. So the answer was 2 point, I got 2.15, but they rounded it to 2.2. So this is exactly like number one in your homework. These other two, um, this is going to be like number two in the homework. Um, it is called 7.2 stoichiometry. Homework. So this is exactly like number two in the homework. And um, let me show you what the question is. So they're using the same formula still, but we are going to solve for something different. It says, how many moles of N2O5 were used if 210 grams of nitrogen dioxide were produced? So what did they give us in the question and what are we trying to solve for? What were we given in the question? And then solving. Anyone? Or are we given in a question and then what are we solving for? And this is the exactly like number two in the homework. We're given, yep, 210 grams of NO2. And we are solving for moles of N205. So this question and number two in the homework is a grams to mole question. So this is exactly like the homework. And what you guys are going to do is you write your given first, then you do molar mass, and then you do mole ratio. So this is what you're going to do in the homework. This is the way you set it up. 
because um, people get confused on to what to on to what to write in the question. So when and this is a six box question. This is a six box. So the reason why I say that it's a six box question is because there's six boxes that you, they, they, you have to put stuff in. Okay, so we were given 210 grams of nitrogen dioxide and we're trying to solve for moles. Because we're given mole, I mean, because we're giving grams and we're trying to go to moles. So this is the unit for grams and this is the unit for moles. Because we were given grams, we have to convert the grams to moles. And the only way we can do that is by using the mole ratio. If you don't know what the mole ratio is, I'll tell you. Okay, so this is the way we're gonna set up our problem. Where did they get the 46 from? So they got 46.0, um, 46 grams of NO2, but in the question, this was, so this was all the information we were given. You weren't given 46.0 grams. Where did they get it from? So this is gonna be, um, stupid thing. this is molar mass, mass ratio, and this is mole ratio. Where did they get the 46 uh, grams? If anyone knows their vote cupboards. You don't know? Let me try this. Does it do it? So, um, this is the molar mass and this is the mole ratio. So the entire column, this entire column is got, uh, they got it from the coefficients. But if I'm calling this the mole ratio, where do you think they got it from? If I'm calling it the molar mass ratio, where do you think they got the 46? And then I'll look at what more mass is. Well, let me ask Siri real quick. Hey Siri, what's the molar mass of nitrogen dioxide? Well, y'all can't even see it. But I asked Siri. Well, let me check with Siri. Hey Siri, what's the mass of nitrogen dioxide? The answer I found is 45.994 atomic mass units. Well, he said 45.993 atomic mass unit. This is gotten, they got this number from adding nitrogen and oxygen. So we have one nitrogen, we got two oxygens. And then the number that I'm going to write, the 16, I got it from where? Where do you guys think I got the 16 from? If I'm trying to find the molar mass. I think, I think the mass of nitrogen is 14.01. So these numbers, the one that I just, the 14.01 and the 16, I got it from the periodic table, but I don't need the periodic table because I kind of memorized those numbers, but I got them from the, they're from the periodic table. So when I add them together, 4, 6, 46, it equals to the mass of NO2. So the molar mass is the weight of NO2. So that's how they got the number 46. And then the other ones, the mole ratio, where did they get the mole ratio numbers from? Where did they get these numbers? The two and the four.
that from the coefficients. Well, from the coefficients, from the equation. And whenever you guys have molar mass, I need you guys to remember that it's going to be grams divided by one mole. So whenever you find the mass of the compound you're talking about, you guys have to remember that it's always over or below one mole. So it's always going to be one mole. It's kind of like me saying I have one calculator and it weighs 46 grams. If I have two calculators, I will write two, but I don't have two. They're talking about one. Just talking about one, but they're going to change that one to four because there's four in the problem. This, I hope that makes sense. Because we're just talking about one NO2. If we were talking about multiple NO2s, we will specify it. But in the problem, we're talking about four NO2s. But if we're finding the mass of NO2, just one, we put one. And it's always going to be one. It never changes. And that's one thing that everyone forgets, that whenever we find molar mass, it's always one mole. It never changes. And you guys try to put, some people try to put the molar mass I mean, the mole ratio, the numbers from the coefficient in the molar mass, because it says mole, but it's just one. Okay, so if I wanted to put this in the calculator, I will multiply everything on top and divide everything in the bottom. So it will be 210 times 2 divided by 46.0. And then divide it again by four. So that is how I will put it in the calculator. So I will multiply everything on top. I don't have to multiply by one because it's just one. If you multiply any number by one, it's the same number. So I'm just gonna do 210 times two divided by 46, divided by four. Um, and then if someone figures it out, put it in chat. Um, so two. 210 times 2 for some reason is 420 divided by 46. Oh, 210 times 2. Wait, 210 times 2 divided by 46 divided by 2. Let me try it again. That doesn't work right. Uh, no, it's always usually every Wednesday. But hopefully by today you know how to do it. Are you putting this in the calculator? 210 times 2 divided by 46? Yeah. Divided by 4? Do you know how to put this in the calculator? 210 times 2? No, I'm not at school. I'm at home. Obviously, I look like I'm at home. It's got out of the shower a couple, like 50 minutes ago or something. Why? Why are you asking why I'm at school? The answer is 2.28. If anyone's trying to do this, it is 2.28. So you do need to know how to do this because, yes, you can learn how to like set it up, but then if you can't get the answer, then there's no point. But this is exactly like number two. And the last one is like number four and number five. Wait. Number three and number four. So there's only four questions in the homework. And this is half of the questions in the homework. So this is like number three. I need to buy a new pen because this is just unacceptable. This pen. Maybe you saw the cat here. Okay. Um. So this is exactly like number three and number four in the homework. So in the homework, you only have four questions. But I'm grading you on whether you can get the answer right and get the numbers in the right box. So number four, the way to set it up is going to be given plus uh, molar mass 
plus more ratio plus molar mass. And you're going to see why. And this is an eight box problem. So this is a way to do number three and number four. Um, if you already read the question, what is our given? And if you didn't, let me read it for you. It says, how many grams of N2O5 are needed to produce 75 grams of O2? So what did they give us in the problem? Mm, given, given, given. Anyone, what did they give us in the problem? Let me move this over here. And then what are we solving? Yeah, 75 grams of O2. And then they gave us, we're solving for grams of N2O. So number three and number four is a grams to grams problem. And because you have a grams to grams problem, they're basically saying we have the amount of this in grams, but usually the reaction is like this or the um, It's kind of like if someone gives you a recipe, but it's in a different, it's in different units. Like the units here in America are completely different to the ones in Mexico and the rest of the world. You guys didn't know. So we some, sometimes you have to convert the units so it will make sense. So this is basically the same thing because the units in the reaction are in moles, but they give you grams. So you have to go an extra step to figure out how much it will be in grams. So it's the same thing. What would you put in the first box? So they go 75 grams, so we're trying to find the grams of N2O5. What do we put in the first box always? Oh, 75 grams. So in the first box, no matter what you do, whenever you get your homework, always put what you're given and they give us 75 grams. Okay, so I told you guys that the way to do this is given, uh, given, mole ratio, oh no, molar mass, mole ratio, molar mass. Where do you think they got the 32 from? If I said it's molar mass. So it's given molar mass ratio, mole ratio, molar mass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, the unit is grams divided by mole. Because note it is grams mole. Where do you think they got the 32 from? No one. So if I was to go to the, well, let me look it up. So mass of oxygen. Mm -hmm. So the mass of oxygen in the periodic table, well, let me just go to P table. Let me just go to P table, there's no point. So the mass of the mass of oxygen is this is really old. Um, the mass of oxygen is sixteen. If you notice in the question, it says that we're talking about two oxygens. 
So we add two oxygen, 16 plus 16 equals 32. So that's what they got that. So it's the molar mass. That's why I am calling it the molar mass ratio. So it's given, given molar, molar, uh, molar ratio. And then what did you get? Where do you guys think they got the, These, these, the numbers in the two and the one, what do you guys think they got those numbers from? When it's called the mole ratio. Hopefully by now you know what a mole ratio is. God. Mole ratio. Where did they get the two and the one from? So we got given molar mass, mole ratio. Uh, this is not mole ratio, molar mass. Just mole. Anyone? The coefficient. So the two and the one, they got it from the coefficients. Um, the 108, they calculated it from N2O5. So that's the mass of N2O5. 32 is the mass of oxygen. They got it from the periodic table and added them together. But whenever you see grams and you see mole, it's always going to be one mole because we're only talking about one in 205. So that will be one, and that will be one mole of O2. Because if we were saying two moles of O2, we'll be talking about two oxygen. So we're only talking about one. So it's saying if we have 75 grams of oxygen, usually oxygen weighs 32 grams for every one mole. But in the reaction or the recipe, we got one mole, reacting with two moles of N2O5. And then they wanna figure out how many grams of N2O5 are going to be needed for the reaction. But for the reaction, you need two moles of N2O5 and every one mole of N2O5 weighs 108 grams. So that's, you have to do all that to figure out how much uh, product uh, reactants you need to produce 75 grams. This is a lot and I know this, <laughs> Okay, so if I was to put this in the calculator, I would do all of this, multiply it, and then divide everything in the bottom. But because everything in the bottom is one, I just have to uh, divide by 32. So if I was to put it in the calculator, it would be 75 times one, times two, times 108, divided by 32. And then if someone got the answer, say it. And then at least try to put it in calculator because you guys will need to learn how to put it in the calculator other than setting it up. Did anyone put it in the calculator? Oh man. So it will be uh, 75 times 1 times 2 times 108 divided by 32. So that's how I would do it. And then the answer, if you got it, should have been 506. So if you didn't get 506, 508. How do you get 508? Or five, wait, 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 wait. I think that's 75 times one times two times 108. Mm -mm. Divided by 32. 506.25. Okay. So that, this question is exactly like um, number one, number three and number four. And then this is just the same thing we already did. Okay, so if you did not write the notes, you guys do have to write your notes because this is what you guys are going to do for your homework. So number one is exactly like the one I said, we got given mole ratio, 
this is uh, grams to moles, so you have given uh, molar mass, mole ratio. Number three and number four is the eight box question, which you have grams, molar mass, mole ratio, molar mass. And then if you have molar mass, what number of moles would you put? In molar mass, if it's molar mass, it always have a, it always ha, it always has the same number of moles. So whenever you see grams, grams divided by mole, or mole divided by grams, it's the same thing. They just switch. But what will always be the same? What what would you always put in the mole section? Because you always put the same thing, it never changes. There's always one number you pick. Anyone? Okay. One. So whenever you see that, I already gave you one of the answers. One. Oh no, yeah, one. So whenever you see grams with moles in the same column, it's always gonna be one mole. Because we're talking about one compound is going to weight that specific amount. Mm. My pen just doesn't want to work. It doesn't want to. My cats are asleep. So what you guys are going to do in the homework is you guys are going to figure out what to put in the boxes. Um, for number one, two, and three, they all use the same uh, formula. Because someone was getting confused, they didn't know what numbers to put. But number one, two, and three, it's all the same formula. But then on number four, they use a different formula. Um, no, that's it. Like, you guys have, um, no, it's because you were here late. That I was telling you guys that we we're going to finish at 11, at 12, at 12, 20 because usually when we go to lunch it's because we have a b and c lunch but because we don't have a b and c lunch because we're not in school you guys will leave at 12 20 and then you will go to to your other class at 11 at 125 so at 12 20 to 125 is your lunch does that make sense because we're in the virtual schedule not the actual regular schedule But like when you when I tell you guys to go, you guys can go. You guys don't have to come back because we don't have A, B, and C lunch because we're not in school. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, does anyone have any questions? <laughs>